everyone, this is Lisa. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about what you need to paint a micro mini. So here I've just received little Sal. Rachel Lane sculpted this cute little creature and here he is. Isn't he adorable? Now these guys are made for Dungeons and Dragons and Warhammer. This little guy right here that I have. And uh, they're pretty much 35 mil scale. These micro minis can come larger or smaller, whatever you're interested in. However, we don't generally paint these in the same way that we paint a regular model. In some upcoming videos, I'll do some more videos about painting these little guys, but this is just about the supplies that you need to paint them. Now you can get your micro minis in these uh, printed resin plastics, or they also come in pewter. I'm just gonna be working in the plastic ones right now but you deal with the pewter pretty much the same way. Now your little mini horse will probably not come with a base, but if you do want a base, you can buy all sorts of bases off Etsy or online where there's printers. These are so easy to get. Just Google Warhammer or D&D bases, and they are so easy to come by, and you can do all sorts of things with these bases. Just pick up a plain one and make them fancy or whatever you want to do. Fuck it, some real fancy looking one. First off, get yourself some quality paint brushes. They don't have to be super expensive. Just uh, if you look online under Warhammer paint brushes, there's a nice little set. You're looking at about $15, $20 for a set of these. Just make sure they're not gonna lose all their hairs and that they're fine detail. I like to keep my brushes in the holder like this. Mine go from five zero to eight. And you can see how tiny that five zero is. Another important thing is a pin vise drill. These come in little teeny tiny drills and they're a hand drill. You just turn it to make holes. If you want to make a hole in the wood, it's basically just a little hand drill and it works so well. And I think this one I have here was about $12. When you're using these, make sure you get the drill quite the way in, don't leave it out or it's gonna bend when you use it, since they're very fragile. Next, you want some paper clips, just regular old paper clips, and a wire cutter to cut them with. For all of this stuff, we're gonna be using crazy glue, super glue. You're gonna to wanna to stand. And it's something with a heavy base that's not gonna fall over. This is a dollar store salt uh, shaker. This is a proper Warhammer one, but this requires that you have a base on your piece. So if you're not working with a base, like most of the model horses, just get something solid like a dollar, dollar store wooden salt shaker. Another thing you need is files, little small files to get into small, tiny places and fine grain sandpaper. A good set of sharp side cutters are really helpful. And these are army painter plastic cutters. Again, about $12 and some sort of plastic putty. This can be a liquid or a putty like this. There's various ones. And again, online, just look for Warhammer or Dungeons and Dragon miniatures and a putty. Now we're gonna get a food container. We want it as low this way as possible. I think this cost me 80 cents. The removable lid. And this is gonna be our wet palette. So for the wet palette, we are gonna take a cleaning piece of sponge, a sponge wipe. Cut your sponge wipe the size of the base of your thing and then fill this with water just enough so that that is wet. Then take some parchment paper, not wax paper, but parchment paper and cut a piece the size of your thing. And then that will allow a little bit of the water through and that gives you the wet palette. So we just put our lid on our palette when we're done so we can mix. And you can just put that in the fridge and the paint will last for ages. So this is still perfectly wet paint that I used a few days ago. Now one of your most important things is obviously your paints. And you can use anything. Well, some of the miniature painters, a lot of them used to paint a lot in oils and oils work perfectly good if you're good with that. However, these paints are made for working with miniatures. They come out in a little tiny dab, which makes it easy to work with. And the main thing is they go on 
very nicely without leaving brush lines. They're much better than a regular acrylic paint. It's about two, $2.50 a bottle. And they last a long time on, on the micro minis. I would recommend buying one of the top uh, ones. This is a Vallejo. And this is one of the best ones, better than the Army Painter ones. They go on so smooth and they're wonderful to work with. Okay, you say, so what colors do I buy? This is Vallejo's color line. Oh my God, what colors do I need? Just a basic set. Join me in the next video when we talk about picking colors for your ponies. You're also gonna need a primer. I recommend this Vallejo primer. Uh, it can be airbrushed on or it can be painted on. I'm not gonna cover any airbrushing here. I'm just gonna cover hand painting. So I would recommend, I like to the gray because it's middle of the road and two coats and we're good to go. In the upcoming videos, I'm gonna show you how to decide what colors you're gonna need, how to pick, find those colors, how to mix the colors, how to prepare your pony and put them so that you can paint him safely. Wait, this guy's not going anywhere. And uh, everything you're gonna to need to be able to paint these. However, I'm not gonna go into detail to make you become an amazing painter, but I will get you started.